when it comes to Pythagoras' theorem, what we tend to do is just like um, you've been told before, is to make sure that the right angled triangle, this is the one we call the hypotenuse, the longest side of the triangle. So say you have a three there and a four there and you were asked to find out what this could be. Because you're looking for the longest side, so for the longest side, you square the first one, you square the second one, because you're looking for the longest side, you add the two solutions from here and then you square root your answer. And that would give you the solution to this one here. So let's square 3. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. If we add 9 and 16, we get 25. Now the square root of 25 is 5. So that makes this bit here a 5. And so that's finding the longest side. If you were looking for the shorter side, any of the short sides. So for the short sides, so say I was to rub that out and ask you to look for the short side here, we're gonna have to square we're going to have to square the other number. We're going to subtract because we are looking for the short side, which is different from that. And then we're going to square root. So if we were to square 5 squared, we get 25. If we were to do 3 squared, we get 9. And then if we were to subtract 9 from 25, we get 16, and the square root of 16 gives us 4. And so that's going to be a 4 here. So hopefully this has helped to make Pythagoras' theorem a bit easier. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notifications bell below to get updates on new videos. Thank you.